Good morning. Good morning. Jesus said in Luke 21, verse 33, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Do you want to pray, honey? Yes. Oh, what wonderful news. What good news. We thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. And we pray that we might hear what you're saying to us through this word today, that our hope might be in you. Mm. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I have this picture of of walking up to a stream and you're trying to cross the stream and there's a set of stones in the water and you put your feet gingerly on those rocks and you trust that the rocks will you, you're careful because the rock might give way it might slip and land you wet and muddy and Jesus is saying test my words because they are bedrock beneath your feet you step if you put your weight on my word, then I'll not let you down. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. Jesus spoke words of, of life. Amen. Yeah, it's Amen. wonderful. That picture of the stream, you know, sometimes you put your foot on a stone and it does wobble. Okay. But then you go another way and you come maybe you can come back to that same stone and it holds there's a sense in which there's there's a timing and a strategy involved isn't there sometimes yes. a word of god is for you there's a sort of a season in which god speaks to you about that's what you're saying isn't mm. it one way and then sometimes with another yes, yes yes sometimes we kind of wonder why a word doesn't seem to be happening in our lives. Yes, like I am the Lord that heals you. Yes. We, we know there's healing in the in the word of God, but it's sometimes we wait, don't we? Yes. yes. Do you remember in the beginning of the book of Nehemiah, Nehemiah receives the news from Jerusalem that the walls are down and he's overcome with grief and he despairs. He receives this news and he just can't cope with with the failure of of you know everything that's dear to him. And he knows how to fix it, he, but he waits, he waits. Oh, and yes. and if you read the scripture carefully, he waits for four months. I think it's four months he waits. So he knows what God's saying. He, he Basically, he's got the word of the Lord, but he's waiting for the season. And then the king looks at him and he's the king's wine taster <laughs> so the king looks at him and says you look you look troubled Nehemiah <laughs> which is a very worrying moment and he goes through it because he's got the word of God the word in season right. and now he's put his foot down on the stone and it stands stands this is bedrock beneath his feet and he know, and you realize what he's been doing for four months he's been seeking the Lord what do I need for the to to come into this situation what do i need i need the resources of the king i need an army to take me so far i need the authority i need a bit of paper you know he got everything Excellent. planned yes it's like it reminds me of that word about making sure you've got all you need before you build something that's right yes yes that's it and then when he comes to pray i've got it written down here he says lord god of heaven great and awesome god who keeps his covenant of love. And that word covenant, that's the real today word, isn't it? It means the commitment of God through his word to where I am right now. I trust you, Lord. I trust you for your, yes. your covenant. Covenant love with those who love him, who keep his commandments. Let your ear be attentive and your eyes open to hear the prayer your servant is praying. Oh, that's so encouraging. Because sometimes we see the word and we think, well, why isn't that happening? Sure. But Nehemiah, sure. He, he couldn't just go off and do it. He had to be obedient to the king in the situation that he was. Yes. And yeah. sometimes we feel trapped by our situation. Yeah. So this is so encouraging So we, just to wait on God's timing. We, we're looking at the situation and not of the God of the yes. situation. Yes, yes. A bit like Jesus, asleep in the storm he's asleep in the storm and they and they say don't you care that we're drowning <laughs> and basically they're saying why don't you respond instantly to our circumstances and he's saying well, where's your faith where's your faith yes why don't you uh, trust me in in this and then he speaks speaks the word peace be still 
so he deals with the circumstances but he's 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 still full of faith even in the middle of the storm yes lord i want to sleep in the storm and like nehemiah the delay might very well be to our benefit however Good. long whether it's a short or a long delay yes. during that time nehemiah was able to pray and because he waited for the king's agreement he got all the resources he, he did. needed yes yes lord it's hard for us to wait for 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 you and we thank you lord that this this word is not about instant gratification of our every desire it's not even for comprehension in the middle of difficult circumstances it's a call for absolute faith absolute putting our weight down upon your words lord we thank you that you have you are in covenant with us you are married to us you are you are in agreement with us and you know what we need before we ask it mm. and so lord we thank you that your words are solid that they are they are strong rocks beneath our feet and we stand upon your words we thank you that you love us we thank you that your word is that you don't condemn us yeah we thank you that your word is is a a warm cloak around our shoulders we are safe we are safe with you lord and yeah. You're faithful and true to your promises, and you'll never let me fall down. Yes. Amen. 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 I love that verse that says, His faithful promises are our armor and protection. Yes. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Lord. And we commit ourselves, Lord. We commit our friends to you. We particularly speak into every situation where we worry and doubt right now. Mm. And we thank you, Lord that your love is stronger than our failings <laughs> yes. and you are for us and with us and here right now. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray together. Amen. Amen.